Hello Nancy, so this is the video I was telling you about earlier. That's a guy who went to Hong Kong in uh, September, well around September because he released this video uh, around that. And uh, so the beginning of the video, I'm not going to turn on the sound, but the, the beginning of the video, he arrives at the airport and uh, the train station, etc. So it's just like showing the different places. And so far it's fine. There's no real problem. It's fine. So yeah, so it's showing different places and uh you know you can you can take a look huh, also. There's a guy here he said that he support the protest, the students, and he's I'm trying to figure out like I'm trying to understand why many people refuse to be recorded on camera and this guy's gonna say, Well, we don't want to be seen on YouTube. Okay. And it's gonna say it like now. Anyway. And after there is a woman, this one, and she's like Chanel bag, you know, she seems like to be a, to have a lot of uh, expensive stuff. And uh, she said that she support the protest because I think people, I think, so she's not quite sure, people don't trust the China PRC government. I think she's a bit uh, far from the reality. And uh, so it's going to continue too. So I think it's quite obvious that the one country, two system policy is not working. It's obvious how. Tell. Explain. And, uh, okay. So it's gonna continue and after it's gonna see a woman. This woman. And she said, uh, can I speak Cantonese? And she's gonna explain a lot of stuff. And I would be interested to, to see if you agree with what she's saying. So, uh, she's gonna, just, uh, she's saying like, uh, the guy is asking about the protest and she said like she doesn't, she doesn't uh, like the protest, she's against that, she's for the, uh, the people of Hong Kong, can I speak Cantonese, actually, so that's her telling, actually this time it's a legal industry medical industry and the property industry are just caring about their profits okay and so it's like a bit uh, it takes a while for her to to say something else okay. after they don't want china to control and regulate those industries so they are using people like this university students so if China controls the private industries, that means the profit they may not uh, make as much money as uh, they, they were to, they were they were before. Okay, so there is one thing, but there is also something else. Let's see if I can. Okay, actually, I don't benefit from this movement. I'm H. HK people, I'm suffering actually, I'm really unhappy. No, it's because HK is my home. Would you like it? I'm skipping because it's, it takes forever. Okay. Actually, just like this, if you actually think of HK as your home, you wouldn't want people destroying it. You wouldn't want your family destroying it. Uh, Hong Kongers or my family and no one would want your family to be used as pawns. Pawns is like a, a prey, you know, an easy prey. After she's saying something else, Trump has an interest in this movement. The US has an interest. They gave a lot of money to support this movement. A big property developer gave money to support this movement, even uh, Li Ka Sing, property tycoon. Everyone knows about this. So when you ask me how do I feel, actually I'm very unhappy. Actually everyone, including the protest supporters, are just being used. Okay. Let's keep that. So she has interesting stuff to say. Huh? And so the guy doesn't record any vis uh, f faces because he's respecting uh, 
their privacy. They don't want to be in trouble. Actually, many of us don't want independence. We don't want it. We don't want it. Wow. It's just that group, the minority wants this. I really like China. I used to live in Shanghai for three years. All of China has already changed. It's not the same China like when we were kids. So, so poor. We understand, but we were brainwashed by the Brits. Re-educate us. Oh my God. She's really revealing everything. They would say Chinese mainlanders are all despicable people. They are liars. They are cheaters. You can never trust them. And then it infects your mind. You never know when to escape because I just don't want to make, want to make sure I'm having everything she said. When I stayed in Shanghai, I brought my daughter there. My daughter totally changed. Now she thinks mainlanders are good. Mainlanders are nice. She has Chinese mainland schoolmates. They are nice. So this time, she didn't want. She didn't participate in any protest. But those people who have never been to the mainland don't understand. As soon as they hear or see the words China or mainland, they immediately say no, or they become aggressive. They are basically already separated, so then how can we communicate? I've already known for a long time that HK and mainland China have no possibility for compromise. She's very, sad. She's very, 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 very nice. Because as soon as you try to speak, they just say you're despicable for just being a mainland Chinese. It doesn't matter what you do or say, it's useless. Even if I treat you to a meal or be nice or be nice, all of your actions will be seen as intentional to trick someone. Okay. So part two, you can see part two, I think he's gonna give the yeah, so part two will be here. So the second part of the, the video, I'll go through all clear. So for the time being, I'm just showing what I, what I found. Okay, what, uh, so it's still Hong Kong, September 21st. So it was last month, uh, no, two months ago. Okay, so we have, you know, just showing uh, what's going on in the, on the street. Okay, and I didn't really watch this one, so I'm just showing you quickly what's going on. And they're like protesters, so I don't know what she's saying. Let me see if she's speaking English or what. Let's see quickly. I think a lot of people in Canada don't really know why. People are protesting or... Behind the cover of the Hong Kong is fighting for democracy for a long year, since 2014. Yeah. We already want to have free election for both the legislative council and our... Vegco, right? Yeah. But we can't succeed at that time because the Communist Party will give us a... I don't know, a filter. Maybe three three choices, yeah. something like that? Yeah. 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 And then there are so many oppressions to our freedom of speech, our freedom of media, and, and different problems like the price of housing, price of housing, housing yeah. and the government will never listen to our voice and just keep oppressing us. You said something, oppression of the media, oh, right? Yeah, I, I think. At a certain point, we still have freedom of speech, but yeah. else we cannot stay here. Uh, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and since then, we are... Yeah, well, I don't know about the freedom of speech. seems like uh, they, they are like exagger... That is my feeling. They are exaggerating a bit. I'm just checking something uh, here. So you can check the videos. I'm gi just giving you uh, ideas. And this... This is my... 
So what do you do when oh, your computer see, crashes and all those... When they have uh, ads like that? Okay. So again, you're going to tell me this guy. He's uh, very angry, very, very angry, so I don't know. So, yeah, another thing you can check and uh, tell me what you think. Lessons in Decent, how one Hong Kong schoolboy started a revolution. So I don't know if it's, like, again, exaggerated. Uh, Joshua Wong became the face of pro-democracy protest in Hong Kong as he is released from jail and calls for Carrie Lam's resignation. We revisit his David and Goliath struggle as a protest leader. So... David is uh, is like a, a, a simple human guy trying to fight a big uh, monster Goliath. Okay, that's uh, the myth here. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is what I just wanted to tell you about. Now concerning All Clear, so All Clear, we uh, we started a new chapter. I may not have time to to do everything here, so I'll I'll send you a second part. And uh, we were talking about my leg is killing me. And we saw a guy who fell down the stairs and uh, he hurt his knee. And his friend, I forgot her name, uh, Judy, I think, she helped him and she put some ice on his knee. So, anyways, the. That's his phone. Did you ever break a bone? Uh, I did uh, my 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 finger, my my right finger, uh, my middle finger for my right hand. So what happened? I was playing handball, and would help I help myself. <laughs> what sound do people make in your native language when they get hurt? It's like, I. They say I. I. <laughs> so it's very funny. And uh, are you? As you listen, oh, my leg is killing me. What happened? I was coming down the stairs too fast and I fell down. Do you think your leg is broken? I don't know, but it hurts a lot. Maybe you need to go to the emergency room. No, let's wait a few minutes and let's see, and see if it gets better. Okay, but can I get you anything? Can I get you anything? Mm, maybe some ice? Okay, I'll be right back. That means immediately. Okay, here. Can you move your leg? I think so, but look, it's getting swollen. It's getting bigger. Listen, Mike, I'm calling an ambulance right away. Stay put and don't move. In the United States, the phone number to call in an emergency is 911, of course. What is the emergency number in your native country? Uh, it depends what you want exactly, because it's very specific in France. And uh, 911 is also the same in um what's the name in um in mexico so did mike go down the stairs too fast yes does his right knee right leg hurt yep does his left le uh, left leg hurt no does mike want to go to the emergency room immediately no can mike move his right leg no he is judy going to call an ambulance yes are they worried yep now, something is killing you. So, my head is killing me. Why don't you take some aspirin? I don't have any, do you? Uh-huh. Here, take two. I'll get you some water. Thanks a lot. Where's Rick? His tooth is killing him, so he went to the dentist. Okay. So, you can also, if somebody is annoying, you can also say, he's killing me. I cannot handle him anymore. 